All right, you know the drill, folks. In today's video, we're gonna talk about more new Blender add-ons that probably went under your radar. Add-ons for vegetation, animation, AI, and much more. Also, before we start, the Blender market is having a huge sale this week. This means you can get any add-on, course, or any other assets on a discount. So if you have been keeping an eye on some product, like an add-on or a course, this is a perfect time to grab your copy. First of all, we're gonna start with a new tree and shrub library by Pongo Library. This new library offers a variety of trees, grass, flowers, ferns, palms, shrubs, and so much more. You can use these assets to create realistic visualizations that are optimized for architects and game developers. The great thing is that this Pongo library offers a free version, which includes more than 50 assets for you to try in the assets collection. There is also the Pro and Pro Max license, with varying amount of content of course, and the library is ever growing, so new assets will be added regularly. The add-on doesn't only include vegetation, because it has a long list of couches, tables, chairs, and everything you need in your Archivist projects. Alright, here is a question. What is something that is future-proof and can't be replaced by any AI? That's right, it is building houses, specifically making brick walls. But wait, they 3D print houses now. Well, at least machines can do that in 3D. Trowel, the ultimate brick wall generator, is a Blender add-on which allows you to easily create stunning brick walls, ruins, and architectural masterpieces with a long list of controls and features to get the brick wall that you want. This add-on is built with geometry nodes and aims to take the hassle out of creating a brick wall by simply just adjusting the parameters and sliders to get the results that you need. It comes with 17 predefined brick sizes based on country, or you can even create your own custom set. Additionally, it has various brick bond types, advanced masking tools, powerful modifiers, user-friendly UI, and interactive boolean operations. We also have a new explosions, fire, and so on kind of add-on, from Pictofilmo. The creators behind some really popular add-ons like Fracture Iterator, Noisy Cutter, and Rigicar. Cutfire will help you create some cool fire explosions easily by streamlining the process in a logical step-by-step -step process. Creating explosions is always tricky, no matter what kind of tool you're gonna use, because there is a lot that goes into it, with all these bursts of fire, smoke, heat, and so on. So, leveraging the power of Mentaflow in Blender, you will easily create some amazing results in no time without using any particles, which is interesting. The add-on has a great user interface where you can adjust everything you need from there. The developers also included a really detailed breakdown and a step-by-step -step guide on how you're gonna use the add-on, so you can check that if you want to. Now. We all know that Blender is an animation software, and rigging is a huge part of that. So here is an add-on that I did not know existed till a couple of days ago. Blender Rig 6 is an awesome and powerful rigging system for Blender, created by Sav Martin and Juan Pablo Poza. You might recognize the name because they worked on some of the most popular Blender open movie projects such as Agent 327, Cosmos Laundromat, Spring, and many, many other projects. Juan Pablo worked mainly on rigging, and he used the Blend Rig add-on to achieve that. This rigging system allows users with or without previous knowledge of rigging to create high-quality rig characters. And what's more awesome is, this add-on actually ships with an interactive rigging assistant guide, which will guide you through all the steps of rigging from start to finish. The guide will also include tips and text explaining what to do at each step. There are also animated images to make sure to understand exactly what to do, and even better, it automates more than 50% of the work you need, like setting up bones, weight painting, and shape keys, just to name a few. Blend Rig 6 is also able to generate realistic character rigs as well as cartoony characters, and it offers many features such as mesh deform, pre weighted meshes, advanced facial rigs, automatic shape keys and driver's generation and many many more. The add-on was actually first created way back in 2007, and it was used throughout the years in many projects such as Bugs Buddies, Kiribati, 
and the Barstorm VFX hit series Man in the High Castle. We actually created a video on Barstorm production and how created the Man in the High Castle using Blender, so please check the video for more details. Now, have you ever tried to create a cityscape or a skyscraper in Blender? Because it's actually a time-consuming and tedious process, which includes creating repetitive structures and trying to randomize them. And at the end, the result is gonna be half-baked and not exactly what you're gonna want. Well, this add-on is gonna help you exactly with that. Building Generator is a Blender add-on that helps you create buildings effortlessly. With a push of a button, you can choose from a dozen of assets that you can customize to your liking. And while it isn't that highly detailed to put in the foreground, it is definitely a helpful tool if you want to create a city scene and you need something in the background. Next up, we have Quick Post Effects. This tool allows you to quickly and easily color grade your renders even in real time through the viewport using the Blender's real time compositor in cycles introduced in the 3.5 release. This add on allows you to add and adjust many options in real time right through your viewport. You can actually tweak the exact look that you need for the project. And if you're like me and you don't like to fiddle around with many compositor nodes, and you just need controls over the exposure, contrast, saturation, vibrance, and many other stuff, this tool is gonna be probably for you. The add-on is shipped with 14 filmic color grading compositing presets, which are created to emulate the looks and aesthetics of popular films and cameras. And although the real-time compositor option is really powerful, you can also still use the add-on with still renders as well. So basically, this is one of the add-ons that can save you a lot of time, so you can take a look at it too. If you want to create water simulations, then this add-on slash water shader for cycles can help you do that. We all know that creating realistic water in Blender is not the easiest thing to do. This amazing add-on allows you to add realistic water into the scene, I mean your scenes, with a push of a button. And the shader itself has a long list of customization where you can easily adjust every aspect of the water. Some of these controls and sliders, I don't even know what they do. But in all seriousness, the controls here are extensive and you can change almost anything about the look of the water, like the roughness, wave size, water tint, how clear or diluted the water is, wave details, and so much more. Also, with this new version, you no longer have to access the shader editor because you can adjust all the settings right from the add-on's interface, which is great. This is a really useful add-on, and I think it deserves a spot on this list. And our final add-on in this video is GoPanel from BlastFrame. GoPanel is a neat and useful add-on that will make your life easier by navigating all the tools in Blender, especially if you are a tablet user. We all know that Blender has a lot of shortcuts, and although the newer versions of Blender incorporate a lot of visual guides and buttons to make it easier for first-time users, it still relies a lot on menus and shortcuts, not to mention having to switch between modes constantly. So GoPanel attempts to gather everything you need in just one place. Every tool and every mode has its unique button and its unique group and tools group. Each of the panels can be easily customized, adding or removing tools and buttons, and you can also as easily change the panel's name, in addition to button sizes and the number of columns to further simplify the interface and save valuable screen space. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.